Hey, welcome back to the book of Philippians this morning. We're at chapter 1 and verses 25 and 26. And being confident of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith, that your rejoicing for me may be more abundant in Jesus Christ by my coming to you again. So Paul's in prison, and we noticed just the previous morning that Paul has a concern. You know, it happens to people sometimes that they die in a situation of confinement or imprisonment, maybe feeling rather alone. But here Paul says, I know I'm going to basically, I know I'm going to get out I'm, uh, because it's more needful. The church, there are things that need to be accomplished in the church, and he believed that God would get him out, and he did. A very large portion of the New Testament was, in fact, written by Paul. He's the most prolific author of all the New Testament. We want to recognize that the church needs a lot to be done. We want to, as, as followers of Jesus, find out about God's church. Who is it? Where is it? Listen and look to the leaders and find out as they can lead us and guide us. And we want to be faithful servants in doing the work that God has for us, uh, no matter our faith experience. He has a work for us. You know, a lot of the problems we have today, a lot of the reason it seems like in our world the church is declining, the church is is shrinking down. Well, one of the reasons for that is that most of the church members are a lot better at sitting than they are about speaking. I mean, let's be let's be honest and let's let's criticize ourselves. It's more convenient to sit by and say nothing than it is to take a risk and say something about Jesus. You know what? That's on us. That's our problem. May God loosen our tongue to speak for him and his present truth. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. You've given us uh, opportunity to understand your truth. You've given us opportunity to know Jesus. Oh, please help us speak, speak of Jesus. Help us to know the right amount to speak of Jesus so that hearts are warmed and, and made interested without uh, feeling irritated. So Lord, we pray for the right spirit and that you'll give us the right amount, that we won't overdo it and that we won't underdo it by doing nothing. Oh, be our helper, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God will be our helper. There's changes and improvements that need to happen in your church. Let's find faithful teaching of Scripture, and let's apply it in our own lives and in our churches. God will bless us. God be with you today and with me.